I was approached by the CIA to become a reformer when I was in jail in England. The CIA? Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, he said he was CIA. He, several weeks after we were convicted, it was July 1996, I think, they said, you will want to see them. So then I thought, what's this about? This must be a legal issue. Maybe something to do with the Whitey Bulger case. There was a man and a woman there. Now, the woman projected a very hostile attitude towards me. I reckon she'd have burnt me at the stake. You know, the other guy, then a big smile, and he reached out and shook my hand, and he says, John, I'm with a different agency. As soon as he said that, I knew, I knew what he meant, the CIA. You can, you can walk out of, out of here with us right now. He says, uh, we'll put you on a plane for the United States in the morning. He says, and we'll give you a lot of money. And then he leaned forward and he emphasized, John, a lot of money. Tell the security forces where the explosives are hidden. And I says, are you aware I've already done 10 years in jail? But I've been in jail before. I know what's ahead of me. I'm not going to come the hard man now. He says, I'm not going to betray my friends. And I'm not going to betray my country. It's just not going to happen.